Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we understand our question. The program has to accept the string es and encrypt the string based on some conditions the condition is that if the character is in first half of the alphabet then we have to replace it with the corresponding character in the second half and vice versa. And finally, the program must print the encrypted string yes as the output. So first we are going to accept the string yes and then encrypt the string based on some conditions. If the character is in the first half of the alphabet, then we have to replace it with the second that is replace it with the corresponding character in their second half and vice versa and finally the program must print the encrypted string yes so the first half of the alphabets means that this so this is our first half of alphabets and the remaining alphabets are the second half that is from n to z so if the character is in first half of the alphabets means that is if the character is b means then we have to get O. If the character is C means we have to print P. So like that if it, the character is Z means then we are going to print M. So in this way we are going to get our output. Now we will take our first test case. So in this test case we will replace the characters with the corresponding character in the second half so for yes we have f and then for k we have x and then for i we have v as the corresponding character in the second half then for l we have y there are two L, so two Y, and then we have R, the corresponding character is E, and then we have A, and the uh, character is N, and then we have C, so it is P, and then we have K, it is X. So now this will be our output. Now will understand the logic that is the encryption of the string yes so if a character is in the first half then we are going to will print the character by adding 13 to its 
as k value and then elif if the character is a space means we are going to print it as it is and then in the else part we'll have the condition for the second half of the alphabets that is if the character is in the second half of alphabets then we are going to print the character by subtracting 13 from its ASCII value so if the character is present in the first half means we'll adding will be adding 13 to its ASCII value and it becomes n so if it is a means it becomes n and if the character is in second half of the alphabets means then we are going to subtract 13 so this will be for both uppercase and lowercase so if we have any in the any character in the first half 13 will be added to it and if it is a space then it will be as it is and if it in if it is in the second half of alphabets then we are going to subtract 13 from its ASCII value and print it as our output now let us implement our program first we will get the string s and then we have to iterate over each character in string s and if the character so first we'll convert it to lowercase and if the character is in the first half of the alphabets that is from a to m then if the character is present in the first half then we are going to print the so first we'll convert the character into ASCII value and then we'll add 13 to it and after that we'll have the CHR function which will convert the ASCII value into character and then we'll have the end argument then in the elif part if the character is space then we are going to print it as it is and then in the else part if the character is in the second half then we are going to subtract 13 from it as key value so we will have this and now let us execute our program We'll pass our first test case. So yes, we have got the correct output, the corresponding characters. Now we'll pass our second test case. Here also we have got the correct output and as you can see, we have got the space as it is. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.